Hello everybody. I know you weren't expecting me today, but here I am. And so if you watch this in the replay, make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you, if you're not a subscriber and you watch it and you like it, subscribe. Don't be tripping. Go ahead and subscribe. And so, um, due to changes in my schedule, hey my Ash, I am going to be doing my, I don't know when I'm going to be back on. So anyway, some things are going on and you finally got a notification 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 yes so we're gonna do monthly favors hey michelle hey joshua hey how you doing okay so we're gonna do monthly favorites and i don't we're gonna be off of here soon because it's hot here it's gonna be today it's in the 80s it's gonna be in the 80s tomorrow and then it's gonna drop down to the 70s and 60s of course because this is chicago so and we see how my hair is now and if you did not see i did the, this morning on a live i know youtube is gonna be like why does she don't she have a life why is she always using our live streaming but anyway anyhow anywho it's time for September favorites. So let's get to it, y'all. I have quite a few things. So let's just get, let's just hop to it. Hi, Mystique. Hello, 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 my gorgeous ones. Okay. Why, thank you. It looks better than that trash that my hair looked like. From the curl, the rollers. Ow! Fuck me! Ow! Oh. Okay. I'm okay now. It's all right. All right, so let's get started. Let's start off with a little skincare and other stuff. We'll get to the makeup. Um, I had an open drawer and you know I hit it let's see yeah, I hit it. what is going on right there oh don't you hate when you find you got one of those little spots on you oh that's right because I had hurt hit my knee my elbow okay never mind I thought I had a spot okay let me just okay let me get together okay let's start now first off let's talk about a cleanser I am. Um, hi, Madeline. Hello, how are you? So, this is the St. Ives Cleansing Stick. This is in the matcha green tea and ginger. Now, I have all of them, and I've actually done a review on all of them. This is a daily detoxifying cleanser. I absolutely do like it. Hey, sugar. I have, Okay, so the reason why I'm talking about it is because right now with the way the weather is and it's so humid here, you know how you feeling kind of like, um, do you have it because of me? All right. How do you like it? And so um, it's one of those things like at this time of year, well, it's still humid outside. It's still kind of warm. My skin be feeling like funky. Not necessarily look bad, but you know how it feels like, you know, it's just like sweaty and just like just sticky your skin be feeling sticky and sometimes you want to get that old school cleanse you don't want to feel like oh it feels so nice hi hi Janine you don't want to feel like oh it feels just so you know I don't want to like in the winter time I need it to be hydrating and everything but in the summer and in the humid weather you want your skin to feel like it has been stripped a little bit now i will put some moisture back in but in that moment i want my skin to feel like it is like you are pulling out some extra oils right exactly so i am using this right now and i forgot how good it is because it really does but it doesn't over strip so it strips so it pulls out the you know it gets rid of that excess oil without over stripping you to the point that you feel like your skin is going to crack and be like ah doesn't do that but it does feel really good so it does give you that detoxifying which is of course pulling out impurities and things like that so it does feel like a mild detoxifier but not so much that you feel like you've overstripped your skin i spent a lot of time on that didn't i <clears throat> 
Okay, next up is this. I don't, oh, I didn't put out too much stuff, did I? Oh, I, I probably need to look for some more things. I probably do, yeah. Okay, okay, so let's go. So now, this is one that I'm conflicted about. Because I really like it, but I don't know if I'm actually gonna buy it. Um, this is the St. Ives Cleansing Stick. You can find them at um, Target usually. I got mine online on Walgreens. You can't find them really in the store at Walgreens, but you can buy them online. And they have four different kinds. I happen to like that one, and there's another one. I can't think of the other one that I really like. Okay, so here it is. This is what I've been talking about, the Suwasu Concentrated Ginseng Renewing Eye Cream. Damn it, this thing is good. I mean, this is a really good eye cream. It really like, I mean, it was firm, it, it tightens, it firms, it feels so good, it's awesome. I mean, wrinkles were like almost non-existent. I mean, it really did work on the wrinkles, but it's $180. And so I'm conflicted. So I'm gonna tell you about it because I have tried it and it is a really good product. But I'm conflicted on if I'm gonna actually buy it again, actually buy it because it's so damn expensive. Because I, you know, if I, oh. But I'm telling y'all, this thing is good. This damn thing is good as hell. But, right, I mean, it really is very good. It's a really excellent eye cream. So if you are in the market to spin, and you know, if you feel like I got it like that, then I would suggest getting that eye cream. Now for the rest of us, we will have, now right now I am conflicted. It's on beauty list, so I can't actually get it. See, that's the con that's where the com conflict comes in. Because Suwasu is on beauty list, which means I could put it on payment plan. But I'm, I don't, I'm trying to not do that. Stay tuned, it might happen. Just telling the truth. Hi, Kim. Hey, Kim. So I'm just telling the truth. You know, I'm, I'm trying. Ah, <clears throat> uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So now let's talk fragrances. Is that, yeah, let's talk fragrances. Now, of course, I got me the, the Bomb Bomb by Victor and Roth, which I wanted. And it just sounds smells like a little candy paradise on you you know it just smells sweet and 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 fruity it's kind of got a sweet smell but it, it's not too sweet you know because i don't like them where it's, it's I, I don't want to smell like candy i don't like that's why i don't like product candy because it's too sweet so it's got a little sweetness to it i mean it's just you know what honestly smells similar to it is my um white musk smoky rose so it's got a little musky smoky rosy kind of vibe to it good good shit good shit that's what i want to get but of course we have to give a shout out to my new bottle uh, coach that's the victor and roth bonbon so this is the victor and roth bonbon love it to love it i have been wanting it i had tried it before wanted to see if i liked it but of course we have to give a shout out to my free bottle of coach perfume the coach perfume is so cute so beautiful hey melissa You know, it's a very clean, it's one of those clean florals. You know, it's got a little floral scent, but it's more of a clean smell. But it, it's extra cute to me because I didn't pay for it. So I, I, it, it, it's a real favorite of mine. You know, I got it, it's free, and it smells good on me. So I got to love it. If y'all didn't hear the story of that, I did a pick up at you at Ulta and they accidentally put an extra bottle of perfume in my bag. <laughs> winner winner chicken dinner okay so that was that did i pull out a lot of stuff i don't think i did i think i'm okay i don't even think baby that's a win 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 okay so let's talk lashes oh i don't even have everything in here hold on i know i was missing some stuff okay let's talk lashes um no, yeah, I'll do lashes. Okay, I got these two pairs of lashes from Midas Cosmetics. Um, I have, what's the styles? This is Rhea. 
right here really pretty now my style is I don't like spiky lashes I like them to have a flare I like a good flare so it opens your eyes up that's my jam that's what I like so that's Rhea and then this is Maya right here and so they can what are you talking so I really like these now let me tell you what what I like hi Tammy these are nice at the price point I paid for them, which was seven dollars because they were on sale they're normally fourteen dollars would I say buy them at fourteen dollars absolutely not they do have a nice band the band isn't too thick and it isn't too flimsy and and they're easy to put on for me now you also have to remember when it comes to lashes I have a pretty large eye shape not a super large but a pretty good size so I don't have to cut them at all so I rarely cut lashes to fit me because I, I have enough space if I put them at the toward the end I have enough space but I do like them at seven dollars would I purchase them at fourteen dollars probably not I think they're really nice natural lashes see okay see see so that oh I forgot to put those on there you said that thank you see you reminded me of something else I had to put in my favorites hold on I'll be right back okay and so that was nail pop polish this is the nail polish that I'm wearing right now now of course we know I get my nails done so I cannot attest if if on natural nails this stuff will last forever but I got this this is the CND vinyl lux and so this one is in cap and gown so I found this at this I got these at Walgreens then I got the OPI and this is pump up the volume because you know you need to do your two nails now since kids said that since Ash said that let's talk about how I got these so um, Walgreens was having buy one no buy two get one free on beauty products and it included nail polish so I went in and I was like let me get some nail polishes in so I said I'm gonna get these hey Brandon so I was getting so I got these and I grabbed a Sally Hansen one so when I was coming to check out so I was gonna get the Sally Hansen one for free because these were the expensive ones which was my budget I said okay I'm gonna spend this much on these so when I went to do it they were ringing them up and the Sally Hansen was didn't come up free. I said well everything's about to get one free well the, and then the lady she was like being like little evil little wench she was like well those aren't down there oh okay I said well then take that one off the Sally Hansen one right Wange took this one off, the most expensive one. So I want to pay for the Sally Hansen and this one and this one. So I got this one for like five dollars as opposed to ten dollars. Nah, 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 nah. Okay. But anyway, the colors are gorgeous. This is this beautiful khaki green for the fall. And then I needed the accent color, so I went with this little green right here. So I did that. And I did just like you, because I I noticed as I was about to argue with her, I noticed that she had like you know taking off the wrong one I was like never mind let me shut up and go on and pay this 11 pay this 14 instead of $20 thank you let me roll out so yes those are the moments where you have to just shut your mouth shush, shush, shush. so that was that I got a lot of eye products in here so let's talk face first and then we'll get to eye products we will talk about eye products yeah, you're right. The dark green, this is such a good fall color. It's a grungy fall color. Now, of course, let's talk foundations. The first one that I got this month, finally, after forever and a day. And um, no, I don't do the gels. I get gel nails, and then I put regular nail polish on it because they're not charging me all that to take it off and all that. Give me some gel nails and I will then put the stuff on myself and plus I like to be able to change my colors so this is the elf flawless finish foundation in the color almond for medium with peachy undertones thank you this is my color too so I'm this is an almond 
and I finally tried it out. It's the flawless finish, and it is. It's so pretty. It is the matte finish, but it's not overly matte. If you've never used the e.l.f. one, it's not overly matte. You know, it's not overly matte. It's, it works really well on the skin. Uh, it has a beautiful finish. It lasts all day. Yes, I am almond girl. I could show y'all. Do y'all know I lost my Dream Urban? By the way, I I cannot find my Dream Urban um, foundation. My Maybelline to try. I am. I am a medium. So right, it's nice. It's smooth. It wears well. It stays on all day. It's gorgeous. Love it. And I don't know what I did. I done lost the whole thing of foundation. Six dollars. That's elf. It's six dollars, honey. Six dollars. Now, the star of the show, the star of the show is the Urban Decay Stay Naked. Oh, you know what? Let me let me backtrack. Let me backtrack. I forgot about this one. Let's go back. So let's talk about this one first. So this is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue. Now this is too light for me right now. I'm actually going to go up a light, a side, a, a color, a shade. But this is, this is also a really nice foundation. It's very lightweight on the skin. It is matte. It lasts all day. It, was, it did not break on me. It's a beautiful color now. It's a beautiful finish on it. It's not it's not too dry where you feel like your face is going to crack off. It doesn't go in. It didn't, you know, enhance fine lines, any texture. It didn't make my pores look like they had just opened up and were ready to be filled with oil and water. Didn't do any of those things. The only thing is for me right now, it's too light for me, but it is honestly a very good foundation. I recommend it. Now let's talk about the star of... Uh, Thank you. The show. That is this Urban Decay Stay Naked. Stay Naked. Naked. Um, high Gem. Um, weightless Liquid Foundation. This right here has surprised me so much. Because I tried the Urban Decay Original Naked Foundation. And it was a little thick. And it oxidized a lot on my skin. Did not look good. Hey, Bella. Um, so stay naked. <laughs> butt naked. And so, but it, this one is truly feels naked on your skin. I mean, when you put it on and you it blends beautifully into your skin. It like, it sinks into your skin. Like it's just melting in with your skin, you know, and it gives this flawless finish but it's beautiful and it's a medium coverage you can build it up if you want to but i am of the notion that i like it to have a little medium coverage so you can see my skin through peek through so it looks a little more natural so that's why and it lasts all day i've worn it 12 hours plus still look good you know you're gonna have you know when you're a little oily you're gonna have to do a little stuff on your face right but you're going to have to put a little powder or pull out your red sponge and blot your face. But it wasn't like I was blotting like five or six hours in. Right. Okay. See? And the shade match was really good. Right. Yeah. Oh, my God. Now, let me tell you. It's plastic, though. It's a plastic bottle. Don't, don't be confused. This is a plastic bottle. But it's a really good foundation. You are going to love it, Joshua. You are going to love it. And it doesn't oxidize a lot. So, you know, like a lot of times the Urban Decay ones oxidize a lot. This does not oxidize a lot. This is $39. I promise you, I, I'm loving this foundation. It's like, what am I going to put on some Urban Decay Stay Naked? Let me grab this. Right. Yeah, it does. But it really. So, there we go. So if you are in the market for a foundation, if you are in the market for it, go ahead and get it. I'm not saying, you know, oh, run out and get this. But if you are in the market, go ahead and get it. 
uh, how do I possibly use all the foundations? I really don't. Some of them I've used more, and what I'm going to start doing is doing better about that and rotating them in more, um, especially with the summertime, because in the summertime, I'm not wearing that much foundation, real talk. But you know what I do go out of? I, I've noticed I use more powder. All right. Let's talk face face products. Let's keep going on the face products. I have this right here. I cut because I don't have a lot this month. I um right now I found this at Nordstrom Rack, and is no one this no one talks about this this year. This is the Lime Crime Sun Kissed Face Palette. This is so underrated underhyped no one was really talking about you know lime crown don't get a lot of does not get a lot of pub you know it really doesn't um of course we know because of doe deer you know but she ain't there no more so whatever anyway yes actually urban k has what 25 percent off Shut your mouth. maybe i should buy another one oh and i want to try to get <gasps> concealers okay so this is the lime crown sun kiss face palette look at this baby right here i love this thing it is so nice let me tell you it was 1997 there on their on the nordstrom rack site if on their site on or on lime crimes is 29. right yeah she really did and people have and most people don't know that yes she is on the board but she has lost you know uh so so it is beautiful these are very pigmented they're gorgeous this bronzer is really nice i mean, i was like oh this bronzer oh okay 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 oh yeah she killed she that's why she had to sell but they, they do make really good products the bronzer is really nice for like up to like you know a tan person now this ain't for the, the brown girls but from you know from a t up to tan you can rock this one it's a nice, nice new one now this gold right exactly i mean as soon as i heard i was like okay good so here is how the good um on my skin if i build it up you can see it so i bet you know yeah let me get you close up see and so here's the gold it has a little um now you know i am not a gold person but that's a beautiful gold the the um blushes are gorgeous pigmented just gorgeous hi amy okay well if y'all want me to really build it up okay fine remember my hands are darker than my face so my hands is always darker than my face so it's harder to see that's why i could say if you're tan no actually on my face is fine i could not use this as a setting powder it is way too dark for me way too dark for me as a setting powder let me just make that clear y'all remember my hands are much darker than my face right so yeah for the brown girls it's not there but everything else though belly you could rock with um and then look at this one it's got this one right here i know and then we got this one right here and look at that oh. now that bronzy color is love right there that bronzy color is love and like i said it's 1997 on sale it really it this was part of that sun kiss um line they did for the summer no one talked about it no one talked about it so yeah what did i do with my wife's oh hold on so yeah that is freaking gorgeous 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 all right no but she can wear the bronze, but she can wear all of the blushes. The highlighters will look good on you because that gold will look love on you. That that gold will look beautiful on you. Cause it this face, absolutely not. On yours, really cute. All right. Now, speaking of powders, I have a powder here that I forgot I even had. And I have to use it. 
this is this elf setting powder you know um it's this elf setting powder it's a peach under eye powder and it is really nice elf be killing me um elf kills me that was for you bella because you know you ain't gonna see it in person because that means you'd have to see me come on now so so it's a peachy it's like a really pale peach it's like the perfect peach for my skin uh now the thing is these things are like three dollars but they will last you because you really don't need a lot but it's just like a really nice really nice peachy color for underneath my eyes and so i really like this one they have a translucent one i've used it before but it can give you flashback but this is the one that i use which is the peach one hi Alyssa. you're new so that is one of my favorites I, you see me it right but that that's once and pick and that was only to pick up your spray so don't be acting like you know i'm just saying by the time you come over here i would have forgot about it you won't be able to get it again because it will have waving out all right so now let's talk face products some more face products is that up the last one that i had <coughs> I really don't have a lot out here okay so let's talk face products now the color I, okay I did see you the color rain power collection let's just talk about how no one's talking about this collection and it's a really good collection right really good collection so I have two of the blush highlighter duos which is called the shots and damage control and I have fallen in love with these these are just so easy to deal with in the morning you know it's like oh so i'm wearing this why why so i'm wearing you know a little warm tone let me grab this i got me a nice little peachy little blush right here and a peachy highlighter mm -mm -mm. <coughs> and they are beautiful because now i already had color rain highlighters so i already like them now this is a deep peach right but with a light hand it's so pretty on the skin so yes it is pretty bright but it's pretty deep but you know with the light hand it's really nice on i, I you know i just don't understand you know color rain does not get the hype she deserves let's just say color rain does not get the hype that, that she deserves um because she has consistently come out with good products <clears throat> she doesn't come out all the time um right there on the floor you know she doesn't come out all the time so she's not overloading you with products like a lot of these companies are but yet people don't really promote her or all they talk about is oh we love the the queen of hearts the queen of hearts is the shit we love it but she has um but she has a great yeah i don't watch power either but it was like oh she gonna have a new one i'm gonna i'm getting it so here is that one and then this is damage control these were the ones for the um these are the ones for the um, medium skin tones so this is a beautiful pinky and i like it because it's pink but it's got enough mauve in it so so it's not overwhelmingly pink it's you know like a pinky mauve which is gorgeous on the skin and then then you got this nice just champagne highlighter to go with it and it, that one is love right hi coco and it's just so interesting that no one i mean I, that's like did she send out any pr i don't know if color rain sends out pr but it's like no one is talking about this collection no one is talking about it i'm about to put on my lulu minute my lulu minute makeup just in case y'all forgot the the color rain um uh the power collection blush and highlighter duo duos these are awesome. <laughs> These are awesome. Thank you, Jim. These are awesome, and no one's talking about her this whole collection at all. Juicy don't like to get picked up. She's not that cat. She just want to be left alone. She's not porch. <coughs> but she's sleep. She was out all day. She got stuck outside. I have 
and the regret I have is I want more from the collection. Just being honest, there's the regret. Re regret is I want more off the collection. I have Call the Shots, which is the the um, the peachy tone one, and then I have Damage Control, which is this one. Now I want the darker ones. And I already knew I liked her highlighter formula. Um, I didn't, but I want them. But I want them. Because, then let me tell you why I want the rest of them. Is because I'm getting more back into tube lipsticks. And so I want some more tube lipsticks. Okay, so that's that. And, okay, and then my last, my last face product is from some friend mail and we'll talk about the whole friend mail that I got but this particular thing I have to show you is some I was sent this which is the Dior Glitz 02 which is the one I have been I've been eyeing this I've been meaning to buy it I've been wanting it and now I have her yay so anyway it, I really wanted her for that peach shade right there now the thing is one of these pans is a um is a little loose is loose so i'm not going to open it up because i don't want anything to fall out but it was i really wanted it for this one right here now can i just say that the dior packaging is not that great um for 48 dollars, this is like y'all couldn't come better than this i mean it's nice but she's purdy oh she's purdy on the skin let's just watch one the one that i wanted this is this is the one that i wanted it for which was this peach color and i have already put a dent in her okay just got her and i have been rocking her since i got oh shoot yeah what what'd you do not kid besides by them both i mean look at that look at that right there What you get? What? Oh, wait a minute. What, what else did you get? Cause I know part of what you got. Girl, I ain't gonna get tired of her. Dior ain't going nowhere. Dior is not going anywhere. Now the problem is, the problem is, is I'm starting to go even higher in. And now it's gonna be like, oh, but so what? See, that's the problem when you start buying the stuff. You be like, oh, well, okay, okay. She bought them both, just like I, I ordered both. The the two are coming right now. They're on the way, and I got a brush, so I'm okay. So, right here, got that Dior highlighter. Yes, yes, yes. Now I'm gonna talk about a. Oh, Never mind. Oh, I can justify everything. I, I can justify everything. But Coco was no Coco big pimping. Coco got the Metropolis and the PM. Don't play with us. Do not play with us. Okay. Oh, I, I'm not getting no chance to cop mascara. That's out of the question. So let's talk lipsticks. Now, this is the one that we were talking about. This is implicated from the color Rain and Power. Now, I did not get liquid lipsticks. I did not get the liquid lipsticks. But I did get this one. And now I want the other ones because I need some more vampire shades. So I really like this one. Ooh, is she pretty? Is she pretty? Is she pretty? Is she pretty? Okay, so I have her and she's gorgeous. So yes, and I love this color. So I've been wearing that a lot. And I have been doing a bunch of glosses. So for every day, I've been wearing a lot of glosses. So let me talk about the gloss, the newer glosses. Because, you know, it's been, we've been in this gloss thing. Oh, you did get the quad. Mm -mm -mm. See, you was trying to hold back on that one. You were not trying to tell me about that one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. so I got um my some dose of colors and so I bought a bunch of the dose of colored ones um hey Kelly so I got Ma made you blush which is kind of like cool tone this blushy one I bought a lot of um 
more nude nude because i like nude glosses i don't like super bright glosses too much i like pinks and things like that i bought these when these um on sale yeah right i didn't even catch that I, I we missed that now i got it now so i got these i love them um i've been wearing the almond butter the don't be chai um and the macchiato so these are the ones that they came out with for um for the you know deeper skin complexion so the women of color so brown girl friendly news that's what i'm trying to say brown girl friendly news so they came out with those and then i got Meiji blush and i got happy hour so i've been kind of rotating those on a lot during this month and you know just popping on a lipstick and then throwing on a blush i mean a gloss on top so i've been doing a lot of lipsticks um with the, with you know listen you know they're gonna have them on sale so they're either gonna have them on sale or also is gonna have them on sale over christmas because they had them on sale last year right you see the look i'm giving you like mm -hmm. okay 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 you just don't tell that one now when it comes down to so when it comes down to um some getting into let's get into um right honey right the glosses are going to be on sale so you will be able to get them so we have some eye glosses now i've been telling you um i got the glazing eye glosses get these on sale these are like the jelly ones like the color pop however i've been able to get these to last longer they have not dried out like those damn color pop ones so if you keep them tight they will last a decent amount of time but just wait until you can get them on sale do not pay full price yes they are yes they are they are out tonight and now this is the one that i got for my diamond perk and this is the Lorac one this is their um their cream shadows i forget what they call them but this is in lace that i picked up you know and <laughs> thank you Ash. you see i was like whatever now i really like these even though i would not pay 22 dollars i would pay half price like if they went on sale i would get them yes they are but I, these are really kind of dry feeling though they're they're not like that usual creamy creamy feeling they actually kind of have a dry feel to them yet they're not dry but they're so beautiful now would i pay 22 dollars no if they go on sale i'm gonna get a couple of more of these but they're so lightweight on the eye they're really good to just top off a color and then they just oh it's no it's not like color pop super shot it's like it's not like anything you felt like most of the time you know color pop super shots are soft like that and then you get the cream ones it's um it's like no it's not even like color pop after a month they're very kind of like almost dry but but not quite right oh yeah the dried out glazing they, they will dry out but if you keep them keep keep them uh tight they won't because i've had those for months and they have not dry, dried out yet so but i like it because it's kind of it's not it's not wet but it's not super dry either so you can just put your finger in there and just lift it up and it comes off so easily and it's just this beautiful sheer wash yes yeah, like a creamy pressed powder there we go thank you joshua it's like a creamy pressed powder but it's just such a pretty i mean look at the sheen on it it's just really now i know they got supposedly got diamonds diamond dust in it okay whatever but it's just, it's such a pretty sheen that i have got i want some more when they go on sale because like i said i'm not paying 22 dollars however if they are like you know 15 i might splurge and buy another one too that's the cheap girl in me but i have been wearing them and just like putting on like a really nude just a nude wash of um, eyeshadow and then just dotting that on my putting that on my lid and boom i'm out the door so it's a really good you know like two and done 
<laughs> two and done. So, because I'll put on something like with a, like a little peachy base, like put a little peachy all over my lid, all over my eye, and then just put that on the lid. So you know, gives it a little dimension. Done. Right. You know, you could put it on your cheekbones too, Coco. You are right. You are absolutely right. So now let's just talk. And now I'm telling y'all, this is gonna be a quick one. Right, yeah, because you know it ain't no damn diamond dust in it. Uh, <sighs> then we'll talk a little bit, then I'll get off of here. All right, now, next up is, <laughs> right, Let, next up are palettes. I'm only going to do four, because these are the four that I really have been loving this month. And y'all all, all going to know which ones I'm going to say, because you've seen them all this month. Well, five. Let me get the other one. Let's talk. The Violet Ink by Menagerie Cosmetics. What the hell? I got... Look, honey, I got stuff all over me. I was glittering. Right? So I have the Violet Ink. Such a cute little purple palette. I mean, you know, I've done a look in it. It lasted me forever and a day. It was on all day. It did not, you know, stain my lids or anything. But it's just such a pretty, pretty palette to have for if you want a purple and a pretty intense purple. This ain't purple for somebody. This ain't lilac. This is an intense purple palette. So if you're not looking for an intense purple palette, this is not the palette for you. But it's such a pretty, you know, it, it will give you those beautiful, vibrant purple looks. So that's one. Then, guys, to shout out this damn thing, this Kaleidos, the sci-fi green. The sci-fi green stole my heart. That damn yellow right there, and you know I don't even like gold yellow colors. But damn it, that thing, this is so gorgeous. And you all, if everybody who was on here when I did it, it was so intense, dry. It, I mean, I didn't even have to spray anything. I didn't have to do anything. This baby was intense. And the color, the, the shadows are just blend so nice, so beautifully. They're pigmented. They're not patchy didn't have any patchy issues they just flowed on the eyes so gorgeous oh my god oh i am in love with this palette y'all i'm in love with it and yes it is a dupe for the gemini which i never got so next up is the midas temptation palette I did this and this was one of the this was something I wasn't even thinking about but when I saw that half price sale hi Ingratia I had to get it right I had to get it because it was just so intense it was beautiful well you know and um and the thing was is that I wasn't even thinking about this palette all right all right you motorcycle guys I wasn't thinking about this palette but I got it because it was half price. So I was trying to get to that $35. So I got it. And I am so glad I did. It is such a beautiful palette. I have done two or three looks with it already. And every last one of them have been easy. And, and for me, let's just be honest. We are at that point where we want to have pretty eyelash, eyelash, eyeshadow looks. Um, right. You want a pretty eyeshadow look, but you don't want to spend 40 minutes with the eyeshadow look. See, we're not IG people. Well, I am. We are IG people. But we're not trying to do those. I've got to spend an hour blending my eye eyeshadow. You know, we need, we wanted to do, um, you know, we wanted to just work beautifully we want to get we want the pigment we want to be able to blend it we want it to just do what it's supposed to do right you know this is from midas cosmetics the temptation palette and i love it because it's got all you it's got your neutrals over here it's got these beautiful pops of color you can really do some really interesting and different looks with them so you're not limited to oh this is a neutral palette oh but this is a colorful palette and the colors work really well together with it so 
Y'all knew that was coming though. And then once again, I'm not talking to you, Michelle. Once again, the power collection has not gotten um but <laughs> me the now that is true half time is just for IG but I still don't want to spend an hour blending the power collection you know you know what it does it's similar to the life's a drag but a better put but a better put together life's a drag you're right Joshua now I know and when I saw this palette I was like oh it's kind of cute but when I got it because I was like you know I'm buying it you know I'm buying it but when I got it, it is really well done. And I'm loving it for, you know, for this time of year, as opposed to doing the orange pumpkin spice look. This is so pretty for that beautiful orange, purpley, mauve kind of vibe. And this color right here, um, I haven't really played with Give Me Glow enough yet. So I played with it a little bit, Coco. I do love it, though. You know what? Thank you for reminding me. I did forget some stuff. See, thank you for reminding me because I put it away and I forgot about it. So let me get it out because there's another one back there that I need to get it out. So let me get two out. So let's just keep it going, y'all. So, yeah, this one is a, a really pretty mauve berry um, palette with the pops of purple in it. The only thing... The only thing I'm really not a fan of is this color. I'm not a fan of this one. This one could have been done a different way. It's like that, it's kind of like that smoky purple. It's like a smoky purple. You know, it's got that, it's that smoky purple vibe. That's just not my style, but it is pretty. So I could have done a different color. But if you want that smoked out, like a super smoked out purple, think about it. This like berry cherry smoky eye, that's perfect for it though. This is the power, the color rain and power. Um, this is the color rain and power um, uh, palette. So, and no one's talking about, like I said, no one is talking about this stuff at all. At all. At all. All right, so let me reach back here for some stuff. Um, it's on the website. Well, I live close to Main Street, so you know they go back and forth. Let's talk vintage rose. Coco is right. This is, and I will say I like it because it's a pinky toned palette, but it's still very fall like because you know it's not those light peaks. It still gives you a very rich, deep color selection for a fall a really pretty fall pinky rose look and i love this color right here which is that deep green all of, this is such a beautiful palette it really does make you make you think roses but it makes me think of like and it does make me think of vintage roses because it makes me think about dried roses you know dried roses and you know how that feel that little old older vibe to roses because i used to um you want to, i think this will really be pretty on you because it's got enough of these deeper colors right right it's a little muted but it also has a richness to the colors because yes it is muted but then it has these beautiful rich colors which make me think like this one is very um see you brandon Okay, have a good day, babes. You know, but it has a richness to it and yet muted. So that's what makes you really think vintage rose. And let me say, I love a palette that the packaging and the inside match up. Match up. You know, once you do, once... I just love when it matches up because I'm so tired when you're getting all excited when you see the outside of the palette and then you go, that's what you went with it? That's what we went with it? Yeah, that was Brandon the whole time because she was driving. 
but she was telling him what to say so that's why i you know i really like it yes right <laughs> so exactly and but you know what that's the one thing i do like about um um uh menagerie cosmetics coco did you ever get that straight now with menagerie cosmetics with that problem you were having with them now let's talk and yes the other two are on their way i'm waiting for my tracking because i couldn't get it the first day but i got it but i have them coming today <sighs> even though this is crazy looking when people when you look at it and you see it it looks kind of crazy looking but it works together and i yeah the other two volume two and three and i am so happy to have it for one thing i know my coins are crying for one thing let's just talk about it it's better okay first off it's better in person okay good it's better in person first off it's so much better in person because when you saw the pictures i was like mm -mm -mm. but i really do even though this is kind of a weird color scheme they actually do work together well and this is a different formula right yeah i ain't doing another pre-order because it's too long to wait so I, i'll just wait till they come out and everything but i will say i love it the pigment these are not as powdery as they normally are somebody say agree, disagree um but i like it because it's not as powdery as what we're used to with abh um shadows they are pigments so they are very pigmented okay yeah because y'all see how i did these eyes they look so good and and the pops of color work even though they don't seem like it like this red right there is gorgeous that red right there is too gorgeous i mean and we know we have a whole swatch video so i'm not swatching this because if you want to see the swatches go watch the live because there's a whole live with every with 25 swatches so there is that i know it's big but i'm still loving it and i know you know right yeah yeah so but i would see you with the orange one anyway so i would say yes because they're not super powdery um they're not super powdery they're not you know and they are extremely pigmented and they blend very well very easy yeah and so let me just say this I decided since I was I wanted the two um, ABH ones and I have this one that I don't want the visor one now and the reason why I'm saying that is because looking at the visor and then looking at the depths of colors in these three I don't need that one because for that amount of money I'm getting that many shadows well I've got them with Norvina I got three palettes with Norvina Oh really? Okay. Um, and that's so funny because I got mine right on time with the whale song. It came right on time. Um, right, right, right. Blackout and zombie by it. So I love it. The other two are coming. Yes. Yes. Norvina said, "You know what? Size does matter. We going, we going big, or go and go, or going home, and we going big. We are going big. Yes." And see, that's what it is in style. But I'm also saying, like, with the Visar palettes, yes, they're like, oh, they're just so wonderful. They're so wonderful. But for the same price, like, look at this. $180. You got 75 shadows. <laughs> 75. So if you're willing to spend, if you, if you think about shelling out that kind of money for Visar, you might as well go ahead and buy them with Norvinas. And you have a much bigger wealth of colors right the much bigger wealth of colors you got shimmers you've got all these beautiful mattes you've got almost every color in there and then some you know matter you got some and then some 
So I had so from a from a monetary standpoint had to go with that. All right, so let's talk some other things I got this month. Let's, since we're done with that, of course I got my my jewelry, which was my little um, PR haul from Juriel.com, and so I don't know where everything else is, but here's two of the necklaces: the one I have on, and then this one, of course, which is the the um, this beautiful one that's the the um moon with um the uh with the stars hang the shooting the shooting stars so that is so pretty yeah right it just really isn't and you better be on some pro shit for hunt for that you guys to be on some pro shit so i got that so i got my jewelry from for my uh pr haul and last but not least Last but not least, I got these. Are these not the most darling Nikes ever? Look at them. I found these on Nordstrom Rack and I had to have them. I had to have them. So I had to have them I mean they were just like oh you so had to have them and I am loving them they're super comfortable because they're Nikes but I just love them for this yes it really does match the vintage rose because it's got that little vintagey pattern to them love them love them so those are my shoes and everything so yeah so I'm, I'm excited and you know I'm not a huge gym shoe wearer so it's those those are killing the game because I love them now I want a few more pair nope nope we're not getting it for you Sunday nope because we bought those and we're doing good and thank you Joshua you didn't even know that you had took her off that ledge took her off that ledge Cause I had already stepped myself off the ledge. It was like one or the other, one or the other. Yes, that's why I got them. Yeah, that's why I got them. Exactly for that, and I can be cute. I'm gonna get a few more pairs. Of, um, yeah, it's right here, the rose gold one. I'm wearing it right now. It's really nice. I've been wearing it for a few days. I want to take it off now though, but the damn things are so, huh? You was, you was ready to dive in. You was. Thank you. Thank you for helping her off that ledge. Thank you for helping her off the ledge. Okay, so. Ah, the Nikes no, cousin. I did not <laughs> forget you. No, nah, you know he was lying. He was just talking. Um, so let's just talk about. So I had kind of got myself into the rhythm of school. I was feeling the rhythm of school. I was doing good. That's why I was doing more lives. You know, I wasn't as tired. I had worked on my, my lesson plans. Um, you know, I was getting ahead of myself. I was feeling good. You know, I was just feeling good about life. And now another teacher has quit in my department. So, you know, I'm in the diverse learners. He was the algebra two teacher. He has quit. Um, so that my director has asked, can I take over his class? And um, which means that they are um, going to, which means I lose a prep because I have two prep periods. And yeah, so um, I don't even, I've lost count. I've heard it's even more on the, on the elementary side, but I've lost count. Um, four or five, six, something like that. Um, so, so she's asked me, could I take over his class, which means I lose the prep, which means I have to now, um, I have to now prep for two classes, two separate classes. And I have not taught algebra two in like 10 years. 
So now I got to remember this damn content because algebra, I can do all day long. I can do algebra like nothing. But now I'm so right. Yes, preps are so important. So now I am down to one. And the one, my, and she's like, oh, well, you can do, um, yeah. So I told her that I need more money. For me to do that, I need more money. And I've given her a number. She said, what would you be okay with? Um, yes, yeah, everybody does Common Core. So, um, yeah. So I am now, and the, and the problem with that, I don't think you met uh, Shakira. No, she's um, no. I don't think she's been on my channel, but no, she's not a mystery. So, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, common Core is stupid. Let me just say that Common Core is not common. Um, so, so I have told them that I need more money. I said because you are now putting on more responsibility. I will be doing more work than every teacher in the school. You know, everybody's got a content. That's it. You know. The, that everybody has their content and that's what they're planning for. Now you're telling me I'm going to be having to plan and teach two separate classes and keep up with grades for two separate classes. And and I lose a prep in it. And so I'm now doing two classes and I lose a prep. You know, so if they can't give me the money I want, they're going to have to find a teacher because that's asking too much of me at the amount I make. You're going to take everything. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. -uh. Mm -mm. So she was like, I don't know if they're going to give it. I don't know if they'll give you that much. And if they don't, I'm contacting the, the CEO of the company and telling them and to explain to her how that's ridiculous to ask that of anybody and think you shouldn't pay them accordingly. You want me to take on two classes? One is juniors, you know, I, and one is juniors. So those are the SATs. And that's the biggest thing in the school is getting the juniors ready for the SAT. And no 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 so if they don't give me so now of course if they give me the money kudos to me for that extra money but that means i will be um working my ass off so i'll be working my ass off and oh let me let me say this oh and then let me let me let me rephrase that not only is is it that but his co he's in co classes of course there's co talk classes they want me in and the regular ed teacher probably is going to be on leave soon because she's pregnant she's got health health issues so she's probably going to be gone soon um so you know what i'll step in only for her because she's being stressed out you know you know, because she's lost three teachers in her department. This is her third teacher that she's lost this year. She hasn't filled the two spots she has. Um, so, but if you can't pay me and you think, and you're get, you're taking my time away and then you're expecting more responsibilities from me, then no, I can't do it. Cause see, I'm gonna need to go on a serious vacation. That's going to be some serious, that, you know, that extra cash is going to be Bakari money and going on vacation money like a week long i need to be at a spa i need to be treated like the queen i am you know i'm gonna need all of that so no we're not no we can't do that mm -mm. so we will see what happens but if if i wind up taking them um then that means that my time on here will definitely be limited so I'll probably just be doing Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, like, right? So that, cause I will not be, cause I'm gonna have to stay later. I'm gonna have to work later. I'm gonna have to spend more time at school than I do now. And I mean like right now I got it. I, I had it all sweetly done. And now starting tomorrow, I lose my prep because she wants me in this cold talk. But, I ain't going into that one no tomorrow. Fuck you. I, I can't do it. I got shit to do. I'm not prepared for that. Sorry. But, you know. Right. Exactly. So, I will not be doing as many during the week. 
girl let me tell you they still trying to do the chant then they said you know somebody else y'all could come up with a different chance everybody's like whatever whatever hi gemini love so that is what's on my plate possibly which messes with my new ig page too because remember i'm doing my lulu minute makeup which means i need to be putting on my makeup which means i could come on here and do it and then do my make do my you know my stuff my my videos from my new ig page which i love i'm kind of digging my new page i'm i'm getting more um i'm getting really good on the editing for those minutes because it's how i'm going to put together a review in a minute and so that's why i've been doing pictures and pictures videos and videos and it's actually coming out pretty good so i'm kind of proud of myself with that <sighs> said all that to say i need to start making that money <laughs> right yeah they, yeah the union can but yeah we ain't doing all that so yeah so that's what it is you know she's like i don't think they're gonna give you that much well going high you never know they might think about because like i told them i said you're saving money I, I see i'm a business person listen and I'm going to talk to them like business. That's why, okay, if they, if they say that to me, I'm going to the CEO and explain it to her why I feel it's unfair for them to even to even come to me with that. Hi, 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 patients. So I'm going to tell them, you're not paying benefits for this person. You're not paying salary. So, yeah, my degree's in finance. So you can't play with me with this stuff. You so you're you're saving money so if you give me this you're still saving money because you're not having to it, you you pay you know what i'm asking for is even it was, i made sure it was a little less than if they put in a long-term sub <laughs> just a little bit but also they're not paying benefits so that you're not you've gotten you're not paying benefits you're not paying for a full-time teacher so you need to pay me this so I'm asking for half his salary. I'm ha I'm asking for half a full-time teacher salary. I have a I have a bottom line I'll take, but I would prefer to have half his salary. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, y'all. Yep, the finger is out. Right. Exactly. <laughs> okay, and then if I can get half the salary. If they can give me half half his salary, then that means I'm gonna take myself on a really good vacation over summer break. I'm gonna be on somebody's IMATS is gonna be insane. I go to IMATS in New York for my over spring break. I am bringing at least a stack to 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 just throw at IMATS. I'm taking a stack with me. <laughs> I'm gonna need just need I just need a stack in IMATS. That's it. All right, y'all, let me go on and get to sleep because my day got to, you know, I got to get ready for this. And I got these badass juniors. Oh, my God. Baby, some in Los Angeles. Because don't y'all have Sephora? I want to go to Sephora. Right? It comes this weekend. I'm going this weekend, Bella. Patience is going to be this um, Saturday and Sunday. So good night, y'all. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. Love y'all as always. Good night. Um, Smashbox. Love them. And Gemini, go with the Smashbox. It's always a better deal. <laughs>